you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and it's day two of our camping extravaganza. We're out of the house. Heidi had to go to work this morning um, doing the uh, 9 to 5 thing which is going to turn out to be much later than 9 to 5. It's actually going to be maybe close. If you get a call off and you're the boss, that's your job. Um, she calls off to herself. <laughs> so. Yeah, she hardly ever calls off. So I'm going to go out and explore the campground a little bit. It's windy today, so I've got an external mic. Hopefully it will uh, cut down on the wind. And uh, we'll take a look at this place, what it looks like without most of the foliage. So here's our camp spot. We've been here before, and uh, we like it. Uh, I always like this one. Now the water's still down because of the uh, winter. They, they let the uh, lake down quite a bit. But, see we got the set up here, and I got it set up to where my truck, if it's turned crooked like this, uh, Heidi can park her car and stay all four tires on the concrete and on our pad, so that's good. Even though they said that they don't enforce it as much as they used to, which is kind of disconcerting because people take advantage of that. If you guys don't recognize this place, uh, it's Ravenna, Ohio, and this is West Branch State Park. I'm in lot number 114 and this is one of the best loops I think in the campground. All of them have their pluses but we really like it here. So let's go uh, check out down around the corner and see what it looks like. There's an access road I've never been down. I'm going to go check that out and see what it's like. So you can see this access road it comes down from the shower house there. It has something to do with the electrical to this place. It's kind of a weird build. It's made of concrete. Huh. It looks like some sort of military setup. This is the last time I've seen something like that. It's a concrete bunker. Hmm. It's been here since 2001. It's very interesting. I don't know why that would be in the state parks. Okay, conspiracy theorist. What is this thing? Or what was it? Very odd. Yeah, let's take... I'm going to take this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Take me down to some rocks. We see lots of rocks here. Awesome. Love it. keeping this peninsula from washing out. Piling all these rocks down here. Let's see what it looks like. So Heidi and I discussed the whole full-time thing. We're still on track for having a, about a five to eight year plan. The house is definitely an issue. Uh, and I shouldn't say it's an issue. It's just we have to make a decision on how we want to handle it. This gets back to another thing uh, We've talked about playing snowbird as far as us being snowbirds It seems kind of funny because whenever I was a kid I grew up in Florida my grandparents bought what they called the property. Uh, it was in Palatka actually it was outside of Palatka in Satsuma in an area called Hermit's Cove if anybody's watching knows where that is um, I spent a lot of time there and it was almost every summer of my life growing up. Uh, it used to be a trailer that they first put on the property and then they built it into a house. And, you know, that whenever it came time to sell, uh, whenever my grandfather had passed away and my grandmother uh, had finally got to the point where she had to be in a nursing home, uh, we thought about purchasing it. And looking back, everybody in the family says they should have. 
we might I might visit down there and let the people know a little bit of the history of the place that that's living there but what I found really kind of strange was every time I went to my grandparents in the summer uh, all the neighbors weren't there there was only uh, my aunt and uncle that lived on the corner and then my grandparents and then there was like a house in between them and then another house got built and that place never had anybody in it and then like three houses uh, on the other side of her there was never anybody there and I thought why would somebody have a house and not live in it well they were all snowbirds and my grandmother explained that to me when I was very young and I didn't understand the concept now living in Ohio all these years um, I would love to be a snowbird <laughs> So we might uh, entertain that thought. So that's going to keep it to where the house has to be maintained. Uh, we'd like to work out something with our kids, but our kids just don't have the same ideas about areas like we did. I mean, we wanted to be in a, a, a nice school district, um, no crime to really speak of, and uh, the taxes were really low. Uh, the houses were cheap to buy, and uh, not a lot of utilities. So that's why we bought where we were, because it was, you know, well water and septic, and the taxes are extremely low. But uh, they're not to that point in their life, so the house is really not a good choice for them. And as far as renting it out, that's tough to do because it's not a normal rental place that has city water, city sewage. Uh, there's things you got to pay attention to. It's got a sump pump. You know, you got to put salt in the softener. Uh, just little things like that that most renters wouldn't pay attention to. I mean, when I rented and Heidi rented we wouldn't have done that. So there's there's things that we got to think about. I think though that uh, we want to do it seasonal at first because uh, believe it or not out of all the people myself um, that really just hate the winter um, whenever it came to about spring ish this year uh, with the clear thought in my head that we were going to move away from this area is when I started noticing how nice it was in the spring. Uh, I don't like the cold snaps, um, but I would think that we could go vacation down south and come back to Ohio late April, beginning of May, and uh, that would be okay. And then leave Ohio in October that sounds about right. In October it can snow but usually it doesn't snow until late October. Uh, it, but it, I mean it could happen sooner but usually it's late October at the earliest. So that might be a, that might be a consideration. All right guys let me uh, let me get Addle out of here. <laughs> I uh, come back from my little walk I thought well it's a little warm in the camper and uh, you know it's 78 degrees inside the camper so the sun is doing a job coming through windows here uh, heating it up and I've heard the other campers that I was out walking around they had their air conditioning on I thought you know what I've really never run the air this year so let me go ahead and try it uh, make sure it's okay and plus it'll cool off the inside of the camper so I turned on the air and it wasn't set extremely cold but it was set pretty cold and I'm like oh, okay I feel the air it feels all right and I'm sitting here editing videos to some extent and downloading some videos and I'm like boy it doesn't feel like I'm getting much matter of fact it feels about the same I'm like oh great so I reached up and I felt and the air was coming out it was cold I thought alright well let me turn the thermostat a little bit colder on the air conditioner to make it a little bit cooler well on these older campers you gotta realize that they don't have common thermostats and let me show you what the problem was. This was set cool and it was running cool but the heater was on <laughs> or the furnace. <laughs> so as I sit here wondering why I'm warm uh, sitting at the table editing videos uh, it's because the vent is right there <laughs> for the furnace so it was blowing up on me. Idiot mistake. All right, guys. So this is the end of day two. Uh, it's kind of frustrating, actually, not having Heidi here. <laughs> it seems odd. I don't know how you guys do it. Um, like Wander Dano, uh, I know that's probably why he has his pets that keeps him a little bit busy. But I have a really hard time staying busy whenever uh, Heidi's not around. I mean, it's kind of like a teamwork thing. This is uh, something that we want to do together and enjoy together. So. Uh, you know, we've been together for 27 years, so it's kind of 
weird whenever we do anything on our own uh, without the other. Heidi used to have meetings down in Orlando uh, with her company and for those three days you know she stayed busy because it was work but whenever it was time for her to get off work she's just like oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Same here. So uh, you guys that are out there doing it on your own good kudos for you I, I, I couldn't do it. Um, I actually had to uh, prepare my own dinner. We don't really have any kind of microwave food here. That's the kind of stuff at home. That's usually what happens whenever I'm at home and we run into a situation that Heidi might have to work over or she's not going to uh, be home for dinner. I'll just grab something and throw it in the microwave and eat it. I, I'm not one for preparing a meal just for myself. And uh, I had to actually cook because that's all we have is just like cooked food here. I mean, I could have made a flatbread sandwich or something like that. But even that, I mean, I'd have to, you know, prepare the lettuce and uh, stuff like that. And I'm not going to do any of that. So I uh, fired up the grill, which we forgot our chimney. I, uh, that was horrible, the starter chimney. So I went ahead and fired up the grill, um, which uh, I've done a review in, of that in the, the past on a video. I'll... I'll I'll put a card up here somewhere so you can see that. So day three is coming up and hopefully good things.